I really love this problem. I know this problem is tricky for a lot of students, but I think the first thing that will help students as they're doing this is if you see rectangular and you immediately draw a picture. There's a lot of student resistance to drawing pictures, but I find it really helps me. Um, the length is six inches more than half its width. So ask yourself, what did they tell me nothing about? And I hope you see, they told me nothing about the width. So I'll call the width W and then I'll define the length in terms of the width. So it says it's six inches more than half the width. So if the width is W, you could say a let statement here, let W equal width. That way you, you're reminded, but you also have it in your drawing. Six inches more than half the width would be one half or 0.5 W plus six. I'm thinking ahead to the fact that maybe I'll want to be multiplying, so I'll leave this as 0.5. It says the area of the sign is 432 square inches. So it's important to remember area is equal to length times width. So we know that. It's in our heads. We can write that down. It will help us because you know the width and you know the length and you know the area. So I'm going to reverse the order just to make it convenient for me. And I'll say W times 0.5W plus 6 is equal to that whole area of 432. It says write an equation in one variable that could be used to find the number of inches. Okay, we've done that. We have an equation. There's one variable. It could be used. That's the first step. This is a four-point question, so you've got your first part done. Now it says solve this equation algebraically. There's that word algebraically, and they want the dimensions of the sign. So right now I'm going to say that my width equals and my length equals, and it says in inches, so that I'm reminded that I'm solving for those things. So solve this equation, so I'll write it down here again. And now you can do your distributive property. So you'll end up with your 0.5w times 1w gives you 0.5w squared, and then 1w times 6 gives you plus 6 w and I can tell it says I'm going to solve it so I need to move my 432 to the other side equals zero so I have a couple of choices I can factor and use zpp or I could go right to the quadratic remember the quadratic formula is right on your reference sheet a lot of students have it memorized but you don't have to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Even if you have it memorized, double check it. So now remember your a is what's in front of your squared term. So that's your a. Your b is in front of your plain, just one variable term. So this is your b. <clears throat> and your c is your constant. Remember to take the sign. So there's our a, our b, and our c. So I'm just going to plug it in, reminding myself that I'm actually solving for x. x equals all of this. So x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus b squared. b is 6, so 6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 0.5, times c, which is negative 432, all over 2a. For space, I'm going to do this 2 times 0.5. Okay, so this is kind of nice. I'll just go down here and I'll say, well, negative six plus or minus the square root of 36. And when you multiply this, you've got to grab your 432 times 0.5 times four, negative times a negative is positive. So I come up with 864. 2 times 0.5 is just 1, so I have nothing to divide by, so that shortens my work. So I'll have negative 6 plus or minus 36 plus 864 gives me 900. And you know that your square root of 900, you can take it in your calculator, you can just know is 30. So this turns into negative 6 plus 30 or negative 6 minus 30. Negative 6 plus 30 would give you 24. That's your value of x. Negative 6 minus 30, you're talking about a rectangle, so you have to rule that out. Please show that, that this is a real problem with um, numbers, dimensions. You need to disregard that. So now you have found out that x equals 24, or w equals 24, so you know that your width is 24. 
and then your length is half of w plus 6. So I'll just show finding that. So your length is half of 24 plus 6. Half of 24 is 12 plus 6 gives you 18. One thing I find frustrating about this problem is that the length is shorter than the width, and that's the way that has been written. So um, typically I think of length as longer, so that could be a sticking point for you. So be cautious with your work and just make sure you don't overthink it. And that is the answer to this. So don't forget about that quadratic.